again, this is Dana Brock. To this video guys, I'm going to show it to you how I process my CFO or Commission on Filipinos Overseas last 2018 here in Manila. So first guys, we have a uh, four offices CFO here in the Philippines. So one is in Manila, second is in Clark, third is in Cebu, and fourth is in Dabao. So here's are the addresses. First, in Manila CFO, City Gold Center, 1345 President Carino Avenue, Corner Osmeña Highway, or South Super Highway, Manila, Philippines, 1007. Telephone number, plus 632-552-4700. Email address, info at cfo.gov.ph. Second is Cebu. Fourth floor, PNG, building for Don Julio, Oriente Street, Capital Site, Cebu City, 6000. Telephone number 032 or 255-5253. Email address cfocebu at cfo.gov.ph. Third is CFO Clark Extension Desk, One Stop Processing Center in Clark or OSPC. Clark Polytechnic Compound, Jose Abad Santos Avenue, Clark, Freeport, Zone. Telephone number 045 or 499-8119. Email address info at cfo.gov.ph. Fourth is CFO Dabao. Satellite Office, Fifth Floor, EMQ Building, La Cardula Street, Corner, Dakudao Avenue, Agdao, Davao City. Telephone number plus 6382 or 8228-2432. Email address info at cfo.gov.ph. So that's all the addresses of CFO offices, guys. The contact numbers and the email address. You can contact them or whatever you wanted to set your appointment. So first, guys. You need to set an appointment in CFO because here in Manila, they don't allow a walk-ins. So you must set an appointment on their website. So if you have keto or babies or kids, guys, you do need to bring them in your appointment day since they cannot understand about the seminar. Last time, I remember the woman of council told us that if you have a baby, you don't need to bring on your the day of your seminar. So why we need to attend and CFO guys for seminar counseling because that's one of the required of government in the Philippines. You cannot fly on your destination without a CFO sticker in your visa and a certificate. The CFO or Commission on Filipinos Overseas it's just like a uh, PIDOS in OFW. We need to attend a seminar. The difference is in PIDOS, we have an employer. Here in CFO, we have an, a partner. So in CFO, they will advise us what we need to do. So here's the requirements that you need to provide during on your CFO seminar appointment. So first, you need to bring a two valid IDs. A photocopy of the passport by data page that's yours and photocopy of divorce degree if applicable photocopy of US citizen birth certificate a photocopy of biograph data page of US citizens passport all proof of your relationship if married in the Philippines original certificate of marriage on security paper from the Philippine Statistical Authority P or PSA payment of 400 pesos for counseling fee might be asked also to bring a parent of consent as needed if your age below 23 and of course your appointment later confirmation so that's all you need to bring guys so take note guys on your appointment day you must be early because based on my experience here in manila i only have 15 minutes left so when you get there they will ask you to fill up the form three or four pages form 
and then you need to finish that before the uh, your appointment time will start so make sure guys you know everything all of your fiance or husband especially to his parents because in the form there's a, some question there about of his parents and about your fiance or husband so based on my experience here in manila i set my appointment 2 p.m in the afternoon and i arrived there at 1 45 p.m so first thing you need to do is you give your confirmation appointment letter to the guard and then you need to leave a one id on the guard desk and then they will give you an id card you proceed to the right side and you go to upstairs in the third floor in the left side there's an office there for cfo seminar so first they will ask you to take a photo and then fill up the form so in seminar guys it just take 40 minutes or one hour so after your seminar they will interview you one by one so make sure you know everything about your fiance or your husband and you bring your all your your documents and the question there guys is just all about your fiance and if you already know about him it's just like a u.s embassy interview and if you pass your interview congratulations because they will ask you to proceed in the ground floor and wait your name to call and if your visa on hand they will put the cfo sticker on your visa and they will give you a cfo certificate and this is the sample guys that's the sample of cfo certificates that's a uh, there's no expiration on that certificate so that's valid for whole year and next is they will give you a guidance book so that's the two books that they will give us guys and then you proceed a uh, payment and then you need to pay a 400 pesos in the first window wait your name to call and yeah that's all guys i hope in this video it helps you a lot and if you like this video don't forget to like subscribe and hit the notification bell below so that you will be updated to my next video so thank you guys that's all for today Bye.